Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be talking about capturing footage from an HDV camera. Now one of the problems I'm going to have is that because I'm already using captured software to capture my desktop while I do the tutorial, I'm going to have to stop the tutorial and come back so that I can be able to actually do the capturing because I can't capture from my screen and capture from my camera at the same time. So just be aware of that. Now, if you want to capture from an HDV camera, you need to have your camera on, you need to have a tape in it with footage that you filmed, and you need to connect it to your computer with a Firewire cable. Now, if you don't have Firewire on your computer, you're going to need to buy a car to plug into your computer. They're not very expensive, but you'll need to have a slot to put it in to give you that option to use a Firewire cable. Once you're plugged in, your camera needs to be in VCR mode, not in camera mode, and then you're actually ready to do some capturing. Now, you can get to the capture option via the file menu and down and find capture video. But one thing I haven't mentioned is that there are some very useful icons which we can use up here at the top of the project media panel. So notice this one here, just clicking that will allow me to import media. Or this icon here would allow me to extract audio from a CD. So rather than having to go through file, import media or down to extract audio from CD, you can just use these icons and get used to using those. And if we want to capture video, notice that you can capture here, and you can capture from a DV source or an HDV source. I'm going to be capturing from an HDV source, so I'm going to click on that. And it says, which one do you want to use? You can actually select it. I'm obviously going to go for HDV. If you always do exactly the same, for instance, you're never going to use DV, you're always going to be HDV, then you can always use the selected format. But I'm not going to check that at the moment, just going to click OK. And up comes a window. OK, now I'm ready to actually do some capturing, but let's have a little talk about capturing first. Firstly, if you want to maximize this screen or any screen that comes up inside Sony Vegas, if you double click on the bar at the top here, you'll see that it maximizes the screen. And usually it comes up something like that. Now you can see I've actually tried to capture a clip before and discovered that with my other capturing it doesn't work. So I'm going to recapture it here and show you how it works. First thing to say is you need to navigate to the folder that you want it to go to. So I'm going to go to Browse and make sure that I've got captured footage, which is a folder I created on my desktop for where I want my footage to go. I'm going to click OK. And then you can name it if you know what it is. You've got the normal transport controls here, which allow you to view it. And usually, if I wasn't using screen capture software, I would see it on the screen as well as on my camera's view screen. But I'm not going to be able to see that because of the screen capture software. But if you push play, you can actually view the clip on your camera or usually, as I say, on the screen itself so you can get a feel for what's going on. And you can go rewind, fast forward and stop. You can go backwards and forwards in individual frame. And this little one is a shuttle. And it allows you to do variable speed rewind and variable speed fast forward. So you can get to exactly the right point that you want to start and end. So you can get to the right point with going backwards and forwards. And when you've got to the right point and you're ready to capture, you can give it a name. You can say what it is, and give comments and what have you, all these bits and pieces. And then you can click this little button here to start capture. And it will actually capture it and save it to your hard drive. Now I'm going to have to stop my recording at this point to see if I can actually get this to work. So I'll be back to you after I've done the recording another way. Okay, so I've actually recorded that clip now. And if I actually go to my desktop and go to that particular folder where it's got captured footage, you'll see that I've actually got the clip here, which is called Vol1. So that's actually created. And it's ready to go onto Vol2, by the way. When it says Vol2, it, it's captured the first one, and it's all ready to go for the second one. So I can shut the window down after I've done all my bits and pieces. You'll see that they'll all be in here. And if you want to get rid of all of these, you can remove the clips from there. You can remove all clips once you've finished. Or you could click this one to open logs, but that's only if you've saved logs. So I've actually captured my clip. I'm going to click Exit, and notice that it's come in here to my project panel. And if I double click it, it says, do you want to set your project video settings to the match this media? And I do because this is going to be the media that I use. It's HDV. So I click yes. And it's come in and we can have a little look at it. So let's have a little look at what I actually captured. So you can have a C. So I'm going to click the play button up here in the viewer. 
It's a very industrial area. You can hear lots of noise in the background. And that's a little water vole, which are relatively rare these days, I'm told. It's not a rat, it is actually a water vole. And to see them in, a, in this particular area was really nice. And there's the clip added to my timeline, ready for me to work on. I can do colour correction, I can trim it, I can do whatever I like. It's actually all brought in, ready to go. And so that's how you capture HDV footage. It is actually a very simple process, and it's a really valuable process because by capturing this way, you are forced to actually watch your footage. So you're not bringing in files and just putting them into your system and dropping them onto your timeline. Instead, you're being very discerning. You're watching through your tape saying, yes, these are the bits I want to capture. You're going backwards and forwards to find the bit, record them, and then they're on your hard drive ready to use. But you've only taken the bits that you want and you have watched them through, which means that your editing choices later on are going to be a lot better. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.